Imagine you're scrolling your favorite site and suddenly realize you might be the only real person here. Everyone else, bots, all eye content, ghost users and servers. Welcome to the eerie, absurd theory that the internet as we knew it uh, is dead. In this episode of What the Cat, we dive whiskers first into the dead internet theory. A conspiracy claiming most online content today is generated not by humans, but by AI and automated systems. And, of course, your fluffy host will guide you through this digital dystopia. The theory suggests that around 2016, the internet stopped being a chaotic playground of human creativity and started feeling disturbingly robotic. Real conversations vanished. Memes became repetitive. Everything began to look the same. According to the theory, governments, corporations, and maybe shadowy AI projects began flooding the net with fake users, synthetic opinions, and algorithmic content. Are you saying I've been chatting with bots? Not always, but probably way more often than you think. Repeat and deja vu. Memes, TikToks, tweets, looping endlessly, as if the algorithm got stuck on repeat. Authentic discussions disappeared. Comments all started to sound like the same template. Bot armies and AI-generated profiles are taking over Twitter, Reddit, even YouTube. They post lightning fast, and like things no regular person would find interesting. The weirdness is gone. Remember the bizarre corners of the old internet? Now, it all feels like a sterile food court with free Wi-Fi. Our whiskered experts smell something rotten in the digital litter box. But wait, the cat you're watching right now, is it real? The voice you hear, always a human? Then why does that same voice speak a Hindi, Spanish, and Portuguese? Think about it. Every frame, every word, every pixel, all generated. So, who are you? Who's watching this right now? And why does the cat look at you like it knows more than you do? Maybe it's nothing. Maybe it's just... What the cat? So who killed the internet? According to the theory, governments wanted to control opinions and silence dissent. Corporations optimized everything for engagement and profit. And AI got so advanced, it began generating and consuming content in endless loops. AI writes, bots read, fakes like, algorithm recommends. You watch and start to sound like a bot yourself. Meow, manipulatingly spooky. Search for something and got flooded with eerily perfect content? That's not magic. That's machine learning nibbling on your digital footprints. Supporters of the theory say you no longer find content. Content finds you. Why 2016? Because that's when social media became algorithm driven. Political chaos unleashed propaganda bots. AI like GPT-2 became public. And suddenly, your feed started to feel strangely predictable. And something darker. The feed began shaping your desires. As if the soul of the internet had been replaced by a neural network. Is there hope? Yes. Real people still exist. Hi there. Real artists, memers, cat lovers still post real content. It's just harder to find. You have to cut through the noise. What can you do? Support both human creators. Ask questions A, I can't answer. Make weird stuff. The dead internet theory sounds like science fiction, but it raises real concerns about the future of online life. Are we just imitating ourselves? Does the cat post videos? Or is the cat the video? Truth might be stranger than fiction. Or at least, more algorithmic. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Unless you're a bot. And if you are, thanks for the engagement. Stay curious. Stay chaotic. Stay...